Box. Rational Geographic. There are many species on planet Earth. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. Hundreds of thousands. Thousands of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of millions. Millions and millions. But only one of them is capable of rational thought. Don't tell me. Human beings. That's right. Today in Rational Geographic. The Gymnasium. Hello, I'm Bob. For the human race, it's been thousands of years since they needed to go out and hunt for their own food. And as a result, their bodies can become flabby, sometimes to such an extent that they're no longer able to get a clear view of their own penis. To avoid this effect, humans flock to places they call gymnasiums. <laughs> At a typical gymnasium, we can identify two main species. The regulars... <laughs> ...and the occasionals. <laughs> Human specimens use the gymnasium as a place to seek out sexual partners. Oh, oh, silly old me. I walked in the wrong dressing room again. What a scatterbrain. Some will even end up seducing themselves. <laughs> Although as a place to find a partner, the gym has many disadvantages. Hey there, beautiful. Has anyone ever told you that your lips are like pink rose petals touched by the first soft light of the morning? Humans of more advanced age tend to congregate in these so-called swimming pools. Observe this typical example. What do you say? Is she alive or dead? God damn it. Incredible, isn't it? Humans are willing to submit to all these humiliations just to achieve that elusive goal. I did it! I can see my own penis! Oh. Check it out! Um, no, that's your belly button. Looks like an Audi. God damn it! Till the next episode of Rational Geographic, you animals! No rational animal was harmed during the making of this documentary. I got her, I got her, I got her! Oh, crap. Well, just a few.